Dr. Fan. Dr. Fan. Take a walk on the wacky side. Dr. Fan. Find some fun that is bona fide. Dr. Fan. For a twist that you've never tried to be glad. Give it, Dr. Fan. Dr. Fan. Tune in into the latest craze. Dr. Fan. Something silly to last for days. Dr. Fan. Gadgets guaranteed to amaze can be had. Silly putty and silly string, check your mood ring, and feed your pet rock because it's time for the Dr. Fad Show. The game show that gives you a sneak peek at the gizmo that just might ne be the next frisbee or hula hoop. See tomorrow's fads today on the Dr. Fad Show. And here's your host, skateboarding right into your own home, Dr. Fad! Hi there! Let's see some of the wacky inventions our audience brought with them today. Who's got a fantastic invention here, huh? What have you got here? Um, a magnet sneaker. Magnet sneaker. You have magnets in the bottom, and what does this do? It picks up pins or, um, or any kind of metal you drop. Quarters, pins, anything you drop, you pick yeah. up with your shoe. Great. What's your name? Eric Braun. Let's hear it for Eric's magnet sneaker. What else here, huh? OK. This is the oddest looking toothbrush I've ever seen. Well, what are you supposed to do with this? Well, it's supposed to brush top and bottom teeth at the same time. I see. And uh, you actually use it? Yeah. Great, great. What's your name? Stephen Little. Stephen and his uh, double, double toothbrush. toothbrush. <laughs> OK, that's great. That's great. As you can see, our show is all about creating and inventing. We've interviewed hundreds of kids, checked out their ideas, and chosen the best inventors to join us in the Dr. Fad Show. They'll demonstrate their brilliant creations for points and prizes with our studio audience as the judge. And we'll put our contestants to the test. They'll have to create something new right on the spot in our fad lab. And Jim, did we mention the grand prize? No, we didn't, but we were about to, Dr. Fad. Strap yourselves in, Fadsters, because our grand prize is a trip on the Earth Shuttle program to Epcot Center at Walt Disney World! Wow. That's great, Jim! So who are our contestants today? Bill Jimenez, come on! Okay, guys, it's time to get ready for our first round, and this is called the Fad Lab Challenge, okay? Here's how it works. The winner of this round will receive 30 points, the first runner-up will receive 20 points, and the second runner-up will receive 10 points, okay? Dr. Fad, what is today's first Fad Lab Challenge? This Fad Lab Challenge is called the Tower of S'mores. Your challenge is to build the tallest possible tower using graham crackers, uh, chocolate pieces, marshmallow fluff, and marshmallows. Yeah, Got and it? then when you're done, we're going to measure your towers to see who has the tallest. But remember, don't eat it in the process, OK, guys? Got it? Run to the Fad Lab. To the Fad Lab! <laughs> and now it's time to present the prestigious, the esteemed, the highly coveted and sought after Golden Gizmo Award! <laughs> yes. It's an award that honors the great fad inventions of all time. And inspire the fad inventors of the future. Now, you know, it's hard to become a fad once, but just imagine becoming a fad twice. Today's Golden Gizmo Award goes to a fad that's here to stay, skateboarding. Woo! In the beginning, there was the surfboard. But surfers got kind of tired for waiting for the big waves. So somebody, no one knows who, slapped a piece of board onto some roller skates, and a new fad was born. But pretty soon, the skateboard moved off the beach and onto the city streets. And before you knew it, manufacturers were making the first commercially produced skateboards. By 1965, skateboarding was a full-fledged fad. International skateboard championships were held in Anaheim, California. Johnny Carson learned to skateboard on The Tonight Show. And the Eiffel Tower was declared off-limits to skaters in Paris. But then suddenly, it all disappeared. Skateboards were yesterday's fad that nobody wanted. Nobody except the serious skaters who started skateboarding in empty swimming pools. But when plastic urethane roller rink wheels were added to skateboards, the skateboarding craze was born again. And here to accept the golden gizmo for skateboarding, the world's greatest freestyle skater, Rodney Mullen! Rodney! Show, buddy. Rodney, 
<laughs> Rodney, um, I'm a skater myself. I'm such a tremendous yeah. fan of yours. Give me some tips on uh, skateboarding. Uh, the first thing you should do is get some good knee pads. Yeah. And um, Like the ones you have on? Yeah, it's important. Knees go first. Um, uh, let it be your own thing. And also Make up your own style. Right. And people, they tend to take it too seriously. Once mm -hmm. they decide they want to be good, just keep having fun. And it's a, it's a fun sport, then to have fun with it, then you get good. Right, that's the only way. OK, Rodney, can you rip it up here? <laughs> Woo! The Dr. Fad Show will be right Dr. back Fad. after these messages. Dr. We now return to the Dr. Fad Show. Time's up in the Fad Lab. Let's see how our contestants are doing. All right, let's pull back those barriers, Awkward. and now comes the measurement of the towers. Okay. Kenneth has built a tower that is eight inches high. Heather's tower is seven and a half inches high. Right. And Phil's tower here, let's measure it, seven inches high. And that makes the winner of the S'mores Bars Challenge, Kenneth. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations, huh? I guess your solid Graham Crackers Foundation did it. Jim, what does that make the score? Kenneth wins the Fat Life Challenge with 30 points, Heather has 20 points, and Phil has 10 points! <laughs> Okay, your s'mores towers may have collapsed, but you can make up to 70 points in the brainstorm round where you're gonna present your fantastic ideas to the audience and they're gonna vote which of them they like best. First, we have uh, Kenneth and his automatic fish feeder, which, and he's already pushed the button. Ooh, now tell us, uh, look well, look, look at this thing, and, and it's ready to feed here. Cool. There we go, and- So uh, that's the fish food there, right, yeah. Kenneth? That's right, are the fish hungry? They're in a, in a feeding frenzy here. <laughs> now, what made you invent this? Um, I have fish, a lot of them, and I don't like feeding them at night. So uh -huh. if, I, if I had this, I wouldn't have to feed them on vacation or I wouldn't have to feed them at night. Right. I see, and uh, in, in case you forget, they're not going to starve. Yeah. And you can set the timer, and fish only need a little food anyway. So. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Okay. Let's hear it for Kenneth and his automatic Good work, fish Kenneth! Food. Good man, stand up. Okay, Heather, you have something that you call disposable underwear here. Yeah. Um, what? The use is because when people don't want to do their laundry and they mm -hmm. want to go outside and have fun and do whatever Instead they Instead of like doing your do laundry, which is no all fun. Day, right. Well, you can just wear it and uh -huh. trash it. And they're trash made out it. of paper, right? Well, that's right. it's more of a comfortable material than paper. I see. What about when you travel? I guess that's a great... Yeah, when you, you don't travel, have to pack... you don't have to come back. It makes more less laundry. I see, and you don't have to carry suitcase folds of uh, all right. kinds of change. And, and instead heavy, you can, heavy you stuff? can carry toys instead, right? Yeah. Great invention here. Heather and her disposable un underwear. Nice going, Heather. Now, Phil, uh, you have this Phil's moving into the studio. Uh, you call this the egg chef. Um, yes. can, can you show us how this works, huh? Yeah. Complicated. Okay. Some marbles being loaded up here for Phil's automatic egg chef. Oh, going down. Whoa. And oh, it hits okay. the mousetrap. And the candle goes, whoa! Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> and it 
cracks. Look at that. Right. And, uh, why? Look at that. I don't want any yolks in my omelets today anyways. And uh, what made you come up with this great idea? Well, it's really if um, cooking. I wanted to get ready for breakfast and I uh -huh. still had homework to do or something, I could get ready in the morning. <laughs> you get ready in the morning. That's and, right. And that would and save your parents when, a lot of work. And when you come right. downstairs, your, your, your fried egg is all ready. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it for Phil and his exit. Woo! All right. Face the camera, Phil. OK, kids in the audience and kids at home, it's time for you to be the judge. Which of these fantastic inventions do you like best? Kenneth and his automatic fish feeder. <laughs> Heather and her disposable underwear. <laughs> or Phil and his egg chef. <laughs> wow. It's pretty overwhelming today. The winner of the brainstorm round is Phil and his egg chef. <laughs> Jim, let's add up the two rounds and find out who our champion is. Our second runner up with 50 points is Heather. Our first runner up with 60 points is Kenneth. And our grand prize winner with 80 points is Jim, what do our contestants win today? Dr. Fad, all of our contestants are going to be receiving sneakers from L.A. Gear. L.A. Gear is the number one choice in fashion athletic footwear. You've got the moves, we've got the shoes. L.A. Gear. And a KB gift certificate. Where do you find great toys? KB Toy Stores. And where do you go to find KB Toy Stores? Your nearest shopping mall. KB, America's toy store. And sunglasses from Ray-Ban. The Ray-Ban Smart Star Collection from Bausch & Lomb. Here, what's happening in kids' fashion? Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. And our grand prize winner will be going on a four-day odyssey to the Magic Kingdom and Epcot Center at the Walt Disney Resort. Splash down at SeaWorld and experience the Kennedy Space Center Spaceport USA. Travel to a classroom unlike any you've ever seen. Welcome aboard Earth Shuttle as you fly to Florida on Eastern Airlines for this unforgettable learning experience. Thank you, thank you again. You all did great. You all did great. Fat graveyard, where all the dumb fads end up. Shall we see what we can fish out today, Jim? Yeah, be careful. You don't know what's in there. Ooh. Let's start with, oh, I remember this one well. What the heck is that? We all know stonewashed jeans, right? Yeah. Before that, somebody came up with mudwashed jeans. Oh, Does gross. that make any sense to you? My mom would be really mad if I brought this home. Every mother's nightmare. Gross. Ooh. Ugh. And next we have... Oh, what's this? Rollers, roller flippers. For, for roller skating underwater? Right. Does it make any sense for to that... snorkel and skate at the same time? Yeah, no. For that special fish friend of yours? Dom, toss him back. They go right back. Okay. And next What's that we have... Thing uh... Oh, here, while we're the subject of fish here, a fish leash. So you How... can take your fish out for That's a walk? That's right. How many fish do you know that have to be walked? That's stupid. <laughs> toss that back. <laughs> oh, what's this thing? Finally, we have... Oh, oh wow. wow. It's... What, is, what is that? Here we go. Look. It's the... Uh... Oh, it's, a... it's like some kind of a... You know what this is? This is the oh. prototype of the first Walkman. You're you want kidding. me to try it? Yeah, it goes like this. Oh. And uh, that it's goes on top. It's guaranteed to give you a headache, even if you're oh, not geez. blasting rock and really, roll. Really, it's already giving me a tremendous headache, but do I look pretty good in this? Yeah, you do look good in it. I think I'm going to keep this. All right, I'm going to toss this back, then. This stuff really belongs to staying just right here. In the bad graveyard. Dr. Fan. Dr. Fad Show will be right Dr. back Fad. after these messages. Dr. We now Fad. return to the Dr. Fad Show. Are you having fun? Who's up next, Jim? Come on down and meet Aaron Kaler. Hi, Aaron. Elise Morgan. Hey. Michael. And Michael Weber. Welcome to the show, inventors. Dr. Fad, what is today's second Fad Lab challenge? Well, we call this game the Hat Piling Challenge. Waiting for in the Fad Lab are hats of different shapes and, and sizes. Your challenge is to pile up as many hats as you can on top of your head. The one who piles up the largest number of hats is the winner. You guys got it? Got it? Yeah. Run into the Fad Lab. To the Fad Lab. Go. Now it's time to take another trip back in time to that fantastic year, 1980. Mount St. Helens was erupting and Yoda was the star of The Empire Strikes Back. 
The Walkman was the rage across America. The year was 1980, and you are there. Okay, okay, so we're not, but you can pretend a little. Billy Joel's It's Still Rock and Roll to Me was the number one hit, and Slam Dancing was hot with the punk rockers. And the fads? Rubik's Cubes took the world by storm. I still haven't figured out how to work mine. Nerds came into their own in the 80s, and the fashion was the preppy look. Oh, hi, Muffy. Oh, I am so bummed about my backhand. Don't even talk to me. Well, I mean, the way I played, I thought the little alligator was going to crawl off my shirt in utter shame. Well, I slipped on my plaid pants. I got my eyes on sweater on. So, shall we head over to Bootsy's for some heavy party action? <laughs> Bitsy and Bodie will be at Bootsy's. Yeah, so will Chip, Skip, and Trip. And she's serving dip. <laughs> it should be totally out of control. Let's go. <laughs> and that's what was completely intense in 1980. We now leave that fantastic year and return you to the present. Let's see okay. how they're doing. Let's go back to okay. barriers and see who has the most hats. Okay. Michael here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hats. Eight hats. Elise here has one, two, three, three four, five, six hats. And Aaron here has one, two, three, Four hats. So that makes the winner of this hat Michael. piling contest, Michael. Michael. Eight hats. Congratulations. Your secret is you stuffed all those hats into the uh, London Bobby's hats, right? Yep. So Jim, what does that make the score? Michael wins the Fad Lab Challenge with 30 points. Elise has 20 points, and Aaron has 10 points. <laughs> Woo! Your hat piles may have collapsed, but you can make up to 70 points in the brainstorm round where you're gonna present your fantastic inventions to the audience and they're gonna vote on which of your creations they like best. We're gonna start with Michael and your, you call this the AMD. What is that? That's for automatic mail deliverer. And see, what happens is the mailman would walk down the driveway and it would mail and deliver the mail. And right then- in there. And then someone would have a two-way switch and just bring it in with the motor. And if, <laughs> wow. he want, and if he doesn't want to use the motor, you can just buy a crank. This invention is good for people who are disabled, or people who are old, or people who live out in the country. Yeah, or have like a really long. I see. Can you send it yard? back? Can yeah, it and, back? and it's a two way to just set it right back up. I see. And then when you want to bring it back, it goes I right see. back to your window. That's great. Do you have a long walk to your mailbox at your house? No, it's right. We, but also, what's it good for? You know, you can you can also some people say you can put it up here. Uh -huh. and then it's also easier for the mailman. I see. Because let's That's say this great. is all snowy. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to slip on the ice and get the chance of getting hurt. That's great. Let's hear it from Michael and his AMD. Good going, Michael. And uh, Elise, we have, I think, another postal invention here. Uh, what do you call this invention? An envelope sealer. An envelope sealer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did you come up with this? Well, in our school, we had to do a science project uh -huh. to make things more simple, uh -huh. and I decided to make an envelope sealer. I see, because it's kind of difficult to lick those bad tasting envelopes sometimes. Yeah. Let, let's see how this one works. Well, it goes, wait. Okay. okay. It goes under. Sponge. Get the sponge folds wets over. it, folds, folds it. over, and sealed. one sealed envelope. Great. Sealed envelope, ready for mailing. Let's hear it for Elise and her automatic envelope sealer. And next we have Aaron, and uh, is this a stethoscope, or what is your invention here? Double blower upper. The double blower upper. Uh, how does this work? If two people uh -huh. could like, they can get the, they get a tube and then they blow up a rafter, an uh -huh. inner tube at the same time. So this time. is connected to your rubber beach ball, your vinyl beach ball, and it just makes it easier to blow up, huh? No, we, we're a having a hard time blowing up a lot of these balls. It really makes you uh, short of breath, right? Yeah. Shall we blow this one up together? And this is great because uh, this way when you're ready to go swimming, you're not all tired out. You know? That's right, and it certainly is a lot faster with two people doing sure. it. That's Let's right. hear it for Aaron and his double blow upper. <laughs> okay, kids at home and kids in the audience, it's time for you to be the judge. Which of these great inventions do you like best? Michael and his AMD. 
Elise and her automatic envelope sealer. <laughs> or Aaron and his double uh, blower upper. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like the winner of the brainstorm round is Elise and her envelope, automatic envelope. <laughs> Congratulations. Jim, let's add up the two rounds and find out who our champion is. Our second runner-up with 55 points is Michael. Our first runner-up with 60 points is Aaron. And our grand prize winner with 90 points is Elise. What do our contestants win today? Dr. Fad, all of our contestants will be receiving a KB gift certificate. Where do you find great toys? KB toy stores. And where do you go to find KB toy stores? At your nearest shopping mall. KB, America's toy store. And binoculars from Bausch & Lomb. Bausch & Lomb's legacy binoculars. Old world craftsmanship, new world styling, premium quality glass prisms and lenses for superior performance. Capture the action from Bushnell. And uh, be your own disc jockey at home with the Studio 4 DJ machine from Bonwell. Put music, sound effects, voiceovers, come complete with microphone, headphones, and carrying strap. And our grand prize winners go on a trip on the Earth Shuttle program to Epcot Center at Walt Disney World. We're almost out of time. If you'd like to become a contestant on the Dr. Fred Show, send us a letter with your name, address, phone number, and a photo of your invention to the Dr. Fred Show, Post Office Box 11777. Washington, D.C., 2008. See you on the next Dr. Fad Show. And remember, don't just follow fads, create them! Who's got something great here? Huh?